Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy King Killer back here today with another video. Thank you guys for dropping by. So in today's video, we about to be rebuilding the Timberwolves now. Taking a look at the record, they are 16 and 15 on the year and sitting ninth in the conference. And Minnesota low-key had one of the biggest off seasons this past year just because they traded a lot of picks to get Rudy Gobert. And it hasn't really been working out for them. As you see, they are 16 and 15. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't really like this trade from Minnesota just because they gave up a lot to get this man. And he's pretty much one dimensional. So outside of the paint, both offensively and defensively, he's not really going to give you much offensively outside the paint. He is not going to take no mid ranges. He's not going to take a three. He's not really good at free throws and defensively outside that paint. He is not a good perimeter defender. So they gave up a lot to get him. I think it was a mistake, but I kind of get what they were going for because they were trying to pair up Carl Anthony Towns with something that they haven't been able to find, which is a defensive player to go with him along in the front court. But I just think they could have done way better than Rudy Gobert. I think they could have given up way less or they could have go ahead and signed somebody. Or even if you wanted to go with Rudy Gobert because you really thought that that was the answer, they could have gotten him for, I think, less. They didn't have to give up all that. But nonetheless, I am here to try to fix the Minnesota Timberwolves. So taking a look at the rest of the team, Carl Anthony Towns, our best player. Anthony Edwards, our second best player. Rudy Gobert might get traded. I think I would like to trade him during the offseason, but... Probably it will be during the offseason, not right now, because I don't really know who would want to take on that big contract right now. D'Angelo Russell, somebody I would definitely like to bring back 17 and 6 and on good efficiency. He could be our third best player. Kyle Anderson, somebody I would like to trade. Jaden McDaniels, definitely bringing him back. He does develop good in this game. Nas Reed, solid backup, definitely bringing him back. Jalen Noel, somebody I wouldn't mind letting go, but I wouldn't mind bringing back either. Prince, somebody I would like to trade as well. And then Jordan McLaughlin is somebody I would also like to trade just because I would like to get a backup, a better backup point guard. All right, so for the only trade we're going to be making for season number one is going to be sending Prince and Knight to the Phoenix Suns for Jay Crowder and a first round pick. All right, so taking a look at the team for season number one, the lineup is going to be Russell, Edwards, Crowder, Towns, Gobert. Off the bench, I did make Jaden McDaniels our six man just because we do need scoring off the bench. Noel, Reed, and Kyle Anderson, and system proficiency will be four stars unless anything is four and a half. No, so we will be rocking with four stars, and then we will go ahead and tweak some of these shot tendencies. So Carl Anthony Towns can definitely go up to about a 90. Anthony Edwards could definitely go up to about a 90 as well. Rudy Gobert could go up to like, a, I'll just let him stay at a 55. D'Lo can go ahead and go up to about an 80. Kyle Anderson could get about 60. Jaden McDaniels, he will get about 75 just because he is our six man. Nas Reed could stay at a 65. Noel could go up to about a 65. And then Jay Crowder could go up to about a 60. So I'm hoping my goal for this season is to just finish as a six seed or better just so we don't make the playoffs as a playing tournament. Uh, team so hopefully we can finish with a six seed or above so we can make the playoffs and not have to enter as a playing team so i'll see you guys at the end of season number one all right so at the end of season number one i always feel like it's the same thing luca winning mvp paulo winning rookie of the year tyus jones six man of the year Giannis depoy trey jones most approved and then joe Mazzula coach of the year does anybody make an all nba team and no nobody makes it what about an all defensive team and no, nobody makes it. That's actually kind of crazy. You pay that much, or you traded that much to get Rudy Gobert, and you guys don't even you don't you don't even get him in the defensive team. That's kind of crazy. But taking a look at these standings and where we finished, ah, uh, we ended up as the ninth seed. Okay, so we ended up as a playing tournament team. And taking a look at the player stats for this year, uh, Anthony Edwards led the way with about 23 points and five and a half boards. Cat with about 20 and seven and a half. D'Lo with about 17 and 6 assists. Was he good efficiently? Uh, not really. So hopefully we could try to bring him back and get that number up. Jaden McDaniels as our 6 man was pretty good. About 12 points and pretty solid efficient shooting. Rudy Gobert with about 11 and 11 and only 1.6, uh, 1.7 blocks. So I definitely would like to trade him this offseason. I definitely would like to trade him. Uh, Noel with about 11 points. Was he efficient? Okay, so he was pretty efficient. Jay Crowder with about nine and four. Was he efficient? 
Uh, not really. At least he could shoot 35% from deep. Nas Reed, solid 8 and 5. And then Kyle Anderson with about 8 points and 4 boards. And we are taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. So did they add anybody new? They did not. They pretty much kept the same team. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to simulate this just because, yeah, we get eliminated by the Lakers. I didn't really expect too much in season number one, but I'm surprised we finished as the ninth seed. I thought we would have been a little bit better. So now I'm going to go ahead into the off season, looking to trade Rudy Gobert as the, let's see who wins the title real quick, as the Pelicans go ahead and win the NBA championship. So I'm pretty much going to be looking to trade Rudy Gobert this season. So I'll simulate to when I find a good trade that I like to trade him for. All right, so for the Rudy Gobert trade, this is what it's going to be looking like. I'm going to be sending him and two second round picks to San Antonio for a future first round pick. And I kind of think it makes sense sending him to San Antonio just because he is a defensive guy and San Antonio is known for their defense. So hopefully Popovich can try to make him work in San Antonio and we will be doing this trade. So we now get off the contract of Rudy Gobert and now I could go ahead into free agency and try to spend some money. All right, taking a look at the player options, we will be accepting Edwards and McDaniels and then going into qualifying offers, we don't have any. So now we're in free agency and I'm trying to look to bring in somebody that's gonna be a good six man. So I actually too, I forgot I'm dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. I didn't even play one no more this season. I mean, this past season. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I will definitely be playing him this season. So. We will need a couple of things on this team. So looking to bring back D'Angelo Russell, he is asking for 26 mil. Uh, I don't really know if he's worth that much, but you know what? Let me see if I can try to make something work. We'll give him about 25 mil for three seasons and we will definitely be bringing back Nas Reed. He will be getting about 8.5. Uh, Noel, I will definitely look to bring him back. He wasn't that bad. Uh, bringing him back on a 10 mil deal worth about, uh, I'll give him a two year deal. And McLaughlin and Crowder, I don't really think I'm going to be bringing back. So do we get all these guys? We do. And I think that should be good enough. How many do we have? So now taking a look at the team real quick. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh, actually, Carl Anthony Towns will get moved to a center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I would like to sign a better backup power for or better starting power forward. Maybe bringing Kevin Love back to Minnesota. Was he efficient? Oh, he was not efficient. Never mind. No. Uh, Grant Williams. He'd be a pretty nice player. What's his per 36? Uh, it's not too bad. Um, Jonathan Isaac, bring him over here. All right. I want to see if the Wizards do this trade. Now, in real life, there have been rumors that Kyle Kuzma does not want to go back to Washington, even though he did resign with them right now. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to offer Kyle Anderson and a first round pick to Washington for Kyle Kuzma. Do they accept this? They do not. They want D'Angelo Russell, but I'm not about to give him up. So will you guys take another first round pick? Two first round picks and Kyle Anderson for Kyle Kuzma. They still don't. What if I give you... Okay, this Spurs... Wait, where did we get... Oh, this is from the Rudy Gobert trade. Okay. Will they do this trade? Please say yes. They still don't. All right, I'm going to give you one more... Uh, what about this first round pick? Still no. What if I give you this one? Okay, so finally, we just gave up. What am I doing? I just gave up three first round picks for Kyle Kuzma. Oh, this better be worth it. This better be worth it. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I would like to sign a backup point guard. And we will bring in, we'll bring in Derrick Rose on a one year deal worth about six, eh, worth about 6.7 mil. All right, so taking a look at the rotation for season number two, we got Russell, Edwards, McDaniels, Kuzma, Towns. Off the bench, we got Noel, Reed, Rose, and Wendell Moore. And system proficiency with this new coach is going to be three stars. Is anything three and a half, seven seconds. So we will be rocking with that. And now taking a look at the shot tendencies, Anthony Edwards is quarter 95, Cat is quarter 90, D'Lo could drop to about a 75, Kyle Kuzma could go up to about a 75. Jaden McDaniels can drop to like about a 65. Uh, Noel could get about 70. Reed could get about 70 as well. D Rose can get about 65. And then Moore can get about 70. And I'm expecting this team to finish. I don't know. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say a four seed. 
I'm hoping this team could get at least be a four seed or at least try to be better than we were last year. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate season number two and I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. All right, so at the end of season number two, Luka winning MVP, Victor winning Rookie of the Year, Cole Anthony six man, Victor winning Deep Koi as a rookie, Darius Garland most improved, and then Willie Green coach of the year. Does anybody make an all NBA team? And no, nobody makes it. Okay. Defensive team? Probably not. No. Okay, so nobody makes it. So take a look at where we finished on the year, and we did worse than last season. Oh, and I traded the San Antonio pick. Did San Antonio do bad? No, oh, this was a bad trade. I don't know why the fuck I traded for him. Why did I trade three first round picks? Take a look at the stats. Edward led the way with 22 and 5. Cat with 21 and 10. D'Lo with about 15 and 6. Uh, he was efficient though. But 15, ah, okay, I kind of expected more. Kyle Kuzma with about 13 and he wasn't really efficient from deep. Noel with about 12 points. Okay, he was really efficient. Okay, so I like that. So at least we got something good coming for us off the bench. Jaden McDaniels with about 10 points. And uh, he wasn't really efficient either. Uh, Nas Reed with about 9 and 6. Uh, Wendell Moore, our rookie. Well, not our rookie, but our second year player. He wasn't efficient either, but I kind of blame myself for not playing him that first year. And then Derrick Rose with about 6 and 3 off the bench. And taking a look at who we are facing, we are facing the uh, Phoenix Suns. Did they add anybody? They added a new point guard. I think Chris Paul probably retired. They added Alex Burke. Uh, and that's pretty much everybody knew that they added. So once again, we are a playing tournament team. And I'm not happy about that, obviously, especially when I gave up three first round picks. And one of them was a Spurs pick. And boom, just like that, we end up losing. So for the second straight year, we don't even make the playoffs. All right, year number three. I'm gonna try to run it back and I don't know, hopefully pull something out of my ass, I don't know. So go ahead and simulate in the playoffs for this year. Uh, let's see who wins it. I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous. I don't really like going out losing. I kind of feel like it's a waste of a video if I don't win the championship. I kind of feel like it's a waste, but I also do go ahead and like showing them just because it shows you guys that I won't be able to always rebuild every team perfect. And that gives me another opportunity later on in the year to go ahead and try to do another rebuild on that team. But yeah, with this team, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much run it back. I pretty much have everybody under locks. I just need to find a better backup point guard um anthony edwards we will be bringing back mcdaniels we will be bringing back one the more we will be bringing back kuzma obviously he's here to stay and then nas reed and cat are locked up so i will see you guys at the start of season number three and showing you guys what lineup i will be rocking with all right real quick i do have the 11th pick so i will be training him for dennis smith jr and i will be sending that pick to new york so now we got our better backup point guard so i don't have to bring back derrick rose and he was pretty efficient except from three so i don't mind it so this will be our backup point guard going into season number three all right so for the final season we will be running d -Lo, edwards mcdaniels kuzma towns off the bench we got noel reed moore and dennis smith jr system proficiency for this team will be four star seven seconds is anything four and a half no so we will be rocking with seven seconds and then i went ahead and i'm gonna adjust so edwards is good at a 99 90 d -Lo. actually i'm gonna keep him at a 70 kuzma could say at about an 80 uh yeah pretty much this is where i want it to be uh yeah this is where i want it to be so for the final season i don't just make the playoffs honestly at this point i just need to make the playoffs because for the first two seasons i have not made it so i'm gonna go ahead and simulate and i will catch you guys at the end of season number three all right so at the end of season number three darius garland wins mvp booker winning rookie of the year highland winning six man davis winning deep point and then cameron whitmore winning most improved with jb biggerson being coach of the year does anybody make an all nba team cat edwards nobody makes it on an all nba team on an all defensive team i doubt it yeah nobody makes it so minnesota i don't know what's going on and we finished the year okay so we barely make it we barely make the playoffs 45 and 37 we were not good i don't know why we were not good uh take a look at these stats edward led the way with 23 points and about five and a half boards cat with about 19 and a half and nine 
Kuzma with about 14 points and seven boards. Was he efficient at least? So he was efficient, but only 14 points. I traded three first round picks for you, and the Spurs pick ended up being a number three pick. So kind of mad on that. D'Lo with about 13 points. He was really efficient though, but he only scored 13 and a half points with only six assists. Okay, I don't know if I should have brought that D'Lo. <laughs> Jalen Noel with about 12 and a half points off the bench, and he was really efficient, so I like that. Jaden McDaniels with about 12 points, and he was also efficient, so he stepped it up. He was efficient. Um, Nas Reed, solid 10 and 6. And what did he shoot? Okay, so he was pretty efficient as well. Wendell Moore was really efficient. Okay. So I kind of regret not playing him in the first season. I forgot. Dennis Smith Jr. with about six points and three and a half, and he was efficient as well. So taking a look at real quick, we're going to try to go ahead and make a big playoff run. And D'Lo is going to go up to about a 75. I ended up dropping Edwards like midseason, but I kind of want to go ahead and give Cat. Uh, do I want to give them both 95? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave. Actually, Cat could go up and Edwards could go down. And we will also... Uh, who else do I want to go up? I think that should be it. Or maybe Dennis Smith Jr. could get a little bit more. Uh, more could get a little bit. And I think McDaniels can get a little bit more. So, taking a look at the, the way I want to run this team. We could go ahead and drop Dennis Smith to about 10. He could get about 18. He could stay right there. He could get a little bit more. Kyle Kuzma, I'm going to drop a little bit. Uh, going to give 36, 36. And yeah, this should be what I'm going to be rocking with. So we got Russell Edwards, McDaniels, Kuzma, Towns, and then Noel Reed, Moore, and Smith Jr. <sighs> I'm, hoping for a big, I'm hoping for a big playoff run right now. I don't know. Last season, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna go all out for it so we are taking on the dallas mavericks and they added duncan robinson was he good no he was bad he was still bad 37 percent 36 from three at least uh jalen duran they ended up getting him oh he actually progressed pretty good not bad i will have to look out for that next time i do a rebuild uh walker kessler as well they got Desumu. uh so they got a pretty good team but I like our chances, so we are going to be simulating game number one for all the marbles. Game number one, we end up winning by four points. Okay. Edwards dropping 24. McDaniels with 16. Okay. Game number two, we end up dropping. and We ended up getting blown out. Luka dropping 40, uh, 40 point triple double and Duran dropping 25. Edwards with about 29. Cat with 20. Uh, game number three, we end up losing again. It's a blow. Come on. Are we not even going to get out of the first round? I'm so bad. I'm going to be so bad. We're going to simulate this one with SimCast. And let's see how we do. I really don't know. I, I really thought this team would have been like a top four seed. Especially me adding Kyle Kuzma just because he does progress good in 2K. And we end up losing by six. So I don't think we're going to make it out the first round. And I kind of feel bad because I really wanted this team to win. So game number five real quick. I am just going to go ahead and adjust the minutes real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give a little bit less to him. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and let 2K do it how they want to do it. So same starting five and pretty much the same bench. So we're going to go all out right now. Game number five. It's do or die time for Minnesota. And we start off the first quarter pretty good. Second quarter, back and forth. Third quarter, we are winning. And it looks like we're going to be winning this game. So boom, I let 2K adjust the lineup and we end up winning. Taking a look at the stats, Edwards with 38, McDaniels with 23, and then Noel with 20 off the bench. Game number six. Can we come back down from a 3-1 lead? I don't want to get cocky, but I'm hoping for the best. Uh, first quarter, we do end up losing. Second quarter, not looking good. We are down by 15 in the third quarter. Come on, please. No, we're down 20. We're down 20 in the fourth quarter. I don't think this is going to look good for us. Down by 10, down by 15 down by 17 and we lose to the mavericks in six oh i'm pretty bummed out taking a look at the player stats for the playoffs how did we do we had edwards leading the way with 28 we had cat with 19 dilo with only 15 points i'm kind of disappointed i would have thought dilo would have been more 
more of a scorer or more of a playmaker especially since i lowered down his shot tendency i thought he would have been averaging like eight nine assists but he averaged less than what he was making even though he was taking less shots this season he was efficient though but he just couldn't get his buckets Noel, I actually really like just because he did progress really good and he became a three-point shooter and I don't really think he's that good. Oh, a 79. Well, to have a 79 and still shoot 40% from deep, that's pretty good. That's impressive. McDaniels with about 14 points and he became efficient as well. Kyle Kuzma was just ass for us. He did get seven boards a night, but definitely wasn't worth trading three first round picks i don't know why i was so stupid for doing that trade because the pick ended up that san antonio pick ended up being the number three overall pick and i could have used it to draft somebody but you live and you learn oh well nas reed with about 11 points and four boards wendell moore i do regret not playing him in the first season but damn he oh he fell the fuck off 20 percent, 17 from deep Oh my god, never mind. I don't want this man touching the fucking ball again. Dennis Smith Jr. with about four points. Was he efficient? <sighs> no, he wasn't. Okay, so maybe we lost because of these two guys, but I do wish I would have played him in the first season and maybe he could have progressed better because he was a 77 overall to end the video. But yeah, that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I could not fix the Minnesota Timberwolves, so I'm kind of bummed out, but I am excited to come back later on and try to fix this team, maybe around the trade deadline or who knows, right? But uh, your finals MVP is Zion Williams and they ended up beating the Hornets in seven games. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to go ahead and drop a like. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link will be down below. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch y'all next time. Stay safe. Peace.